Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from UpgradeToLife.com and welcome to this quote of the week video. So with that, let's just actually dive right in and especially this quote will also touch base on the topic of everyone is yourself pushed out. So if that is something that you're interested in, then this quote will also help you to bring this again into your awareness that this is actually a fact, that this is actually a truth on how the law works. So let's just look at the quote, then I will give you some tips and comment on the quote as usual. So here is the quote, first of all, right? Neville said, A man imagines a desire, save for wealth. When he becomes wealthy, he may forget the means by which it came about and think all the external forces that were used to bring it to pass are the causes. They had to play the part that they played because he imagined what he imagined right this is really a powerful it seems like not so powerful quote but you know if we look behind the scenes then we actually can get a you know really important truth out of this quote which again comes to this topic to neville's teachings everyone is yourself pushed out everything is you know coming from the same source we are all one and you know if you imagine something then you know this influences the whole right if you imagine yourself you know, being, being, being wealthy, like in this example, then everything in your life has to happen accordingly so that you actually end up also in the manifested world, in the shadow world, in the world of Caesar to be wealthy. And everyone that comes into your life has to play their part accordingly to what state you have shifted into, right? To your imaginal activity. So let's look at the quote, right? So, so Neville says that when someone imagines a desire, for example, wealth, but this is true for anything. It can also be for love, for being happily partnered, right? If you keep it general, for example, for anything else, right? For meeting a new tribe of friends, for um, doing anything else, for finding a better job, doesn't matter, right? If you go there, then when this actually happens, right? Which it will when you go straight to the end and when you imagine something that implies fulfillment, when you use with that state when you shift into it when it is natural when you know it's done right when when you just apply the law the law normally then when this happens we oftentimes forget and we oftentimes say oh yeah at some point you know this would have happened anyway or we say yeah okay that's because i met this person and this person introduced me to this person and then this happened or yeah because you know first i did this and then i did this and yeah then of course i got it however and this is this is, this is kind of dangerous because then we actually give our power away to the external forces that were used to bring the desire to pass, right? We give our power away to these to these outer conditions and we think, oh, this is the cause, this is the cause, this is what led to the manifestation. However, we forget that it is imagination that is the only cause. There can be only one cause. It's not that there are different causes in life. No, there's one cause, that's you. You are the operant power, you are the awareness, you decide what in a sense, where you place your awareness on. Remember, imagination is awareness slash consciousness in motion, in action. So wherever you place your awareness on something that's not manifested yet, that is what we call imagination. And then there you live inwardly and you experience it, it's done. And then it happens, right? The bridge unfolds. But never give the, in a sense, the, the, the cause to the bridge. Right? The bridge has to happen because you imagined what you imagined. So everyone and everything will play their part accordingly to what you imagine. And this is why the topic of everyone is yourself pushed out is really important to keep in mind, right? I, I made an entire video on this topic. I will link it above right now. It's called everyone is yourself pushed out, where I also clean up all the delusional concepts and the, you know, wrong explanations out there that, you know, a, Everyone is a robot and any stuff like that, that some people just say, which is absolutely wrong. You can prove this wrong. Like they are there. However, still, if you assume a state, right, people have to mirror this back accordingly. Meaning if you, for example, let's take wealth for an example, right? If you uh, let leave out all the whens, all the hows, all the whats, all the whos, and you just claim wealth, Right, you just shift in a wealthy state where you feel wealthy, where you see yourself as wealthy, then you know whoever enters your life to give you that wealth, whoever enters your life to give you the opportunities for you to increase your wealth, they will play their part. They will think it's their idea, right? They will just mirror back. They have to play their role perfectly 
because the world is a perfect mirror of your inner state, right? There is no, like, the law and life and consciousness, like, it works perfectly. There is no, there are no mistakes. So if you look at your life and there are things not the way that you want them to be, don't blame all of that, right? It's just a perfect expression of what you imagine, what you did within. And if you still sit there and you say, oh, no, but I didn't imagine that. Why are still undesirable circumstances happening in my life? Why am I still not financially stable? Why am I still not in a relationship? Why am I still not this, this and that and struggling to get things? Then I challenge you to observe your imaginal activity for five hours, right? For, for some days and just look what you imagine. Look what you dwell within. You will see a deep connection between what you actually do within and, you know, how your life unfolds. So, that's the point here, right? This is just a reminder. This will be a short video. I don't want to go too much in right now, but it was a reminder that everything and everyone, circumstances, people, everything, everyone have to play their part perfectly to mirror back what you have imagined, which is the only cause. I have another video, which is called techniques or also not the cause, which I will link above, where you will learn that no matter what you do, if you do affirmations, if you even script, if you Imagine a scene that implies the end. If you, you know, hear congratulations or whatever you prefer, right? And there are some things that I prefer, like imagining a scene that implies the fulfillment or hearing congratulations because I'm this auditive, audio, visual type of person that really enjoys that. But no matter what you do, you know, it's not the technique that is the cause. It's not the, the people that come into your life that are the cause. No, it's what you have imagined, what you have fused with, what you have done within yourself. That is the only cause that there is. There is only one cause, and that is you. And when you accept this, when you just swallow this pill, it can take a while for it to be, you know, accepted. But once it is, then you free yourself and you you rid yourself from any second causes, right? From any, how Neville also called it, like false gods. There is only one god. There is only one operant power. There is only one cause, right? And that is your inner state. It's you, you your inner world. Right, and that is my point of this video. That is the core reminder. So check out these videos that I linked previously, right about the techniques and about everyone is yourself pushed out. And with that, I already conclude this quote. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you need any additional help, right, then feel free to check out the two links in the video description. One is my free class where I teach you, you know, straight to the point, what to do, what not to do, and how the law works. And the second link is to apply for a free call with me or my team to figure out if we are a good fit to work together to make this a lifestyle, right? To learn the law fully, to be more self-empowered, to feel more fulfilled, and to just manifest your desires. If that is what you want, then check out the second link, and I talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.